Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is Thursday, September 21st, 2023. Here's what's happening today in America. Garland in front of the house. Free COVID test for everybody. Interest rates stay the same. And a very important public service announcement from a Michigan fire department. That's all coming up. And then Bill will be here with your message of the day. But first, the Attorney General Merrick Garland went in front of the House Judiciary Committee. Many questions from Republicans about the Justice Department's role in the investigation of Hunter Biden. And Garland said he did not interfere with the investigation. He said, I'm going to say it again and again if necessary. I did not interfere with, did not investigate, did not make determinations. Congressman Mike Johnson asked, have you had personal contact with anyone at the FBI headquarters about the Hunter Biden investigation? And Merrick Garland said, I don't recollect the answer to that question. The federal government has relaunched the free COVID tests sent to any American home who wants it. If you want it, you can get it. Starting September 25th, each household can request four tests. These are the rapid tests. Last winter, Biden promised 1 billion tests. Then the website shut down. It was back up a month later, but then they shut it back down in June and now it's back up again. This will cost $600 million. Sort of good news. The Federal Reserve did not move the interest rates. It is expected that they will increase the rates one more time by the end of the year, but they say that there are enough signs that the economy is slowing that they could keep it where it is for now. It's been complicated this last year or so because good economic news is bad news and bad economic news is good news. Like bad job numbers, for instance, well, that's good news for the feds because they want the economy to slow down because that's one way that inflation will go down. Bad economic growth. Well, that's good news because again, they want the economy to slow down. So it's been very confusing. Public service announcement from a Michigan Fire Department, a woman in Michigan was at a boat launch at a lake. She had to go to the bathroom, went to the nearby outhouse. While on the toilet, she somehow dropped her Apple Watch into the pole. She couldn't reach it. So naturally, she decided to climb into the toilet to retrieve it where she got stuck. Police and fire were called. They pulled her out with a rope. So this is a good time to remind everyone As the Michigan State Police and Fire wrote in their press release, if you lose an item in an outhouse toilet, do not attempt to venture inside. Serious injury may occur. I'm Mike Slater, Bill O'Reilly with your message of the day. Next. Hey, I want to tell you about COIN. That is spelled C-O-I-G-N dot com. It's America's only conservative credit card. Every time you use your credit card these days, you could be helping big banks give billions to liberal organizations like La Raza, BLM, the Clinton Foundation, and others. But now you can fight back. COIN offers unlimited cash back rewards, world-class theft and fraud protection, and the ability to align your dollars with your values. COIN gives a portion of every dollar they earn to conservative charities that coin card holders vote on. So learn more and apply for a coin credit card at coin.com slash O'Reilly. That's C-O-I-G-N dot com slash O'Reilly. Please go to coin.com slash disclosures for more information. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Thursday, Senator Mitt Romney has announced he will not seek re-election in Utah, bringing out rabid partisans on both sides to malign him. So what does that say about Mr. Romney himself? Not much. I have known the senator for more than 20 years and believe his legacy is mixed. As governor, he ran the very liberal Commonwealth of Massachusetts pretty well. As senator... He lost his way feuding with Donald Trump. As a presidential candidate running against Barack Obama in 2012, Mitt Romney totally blew it. In fact, one of the few arguments I had with Roger Ailes, the boss at Fox News, was over Romney. I was reporting that although President Obama had some major weaknesses in his quest for re-election, Romney was far too timid 
in pointing them out. It was almost as if he feared Obama. Therefore, I analyzed Mitt was likely to lose. Well, Mr. Ailes did not like my take. Fine. But I wasn't going to modify it because that was true. And Romney did lose. I took no pleasure in that. But my job is to call him as I see him, which I did right up till Election Day. The Trump thing was stupid. The former president called Romney a loser. The senator despised him for doing that. So Romney voted to convict Trump in both Pelosi trumped up impeachments. Foolish. On balance, Mitt Romney is a flawed patriot, as many of us are. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Okay, let's go into the mail bag. Alan Hinks, Manchester, Vermont, beautiful town, Manchester, particularly in the autumn. Vivek uh, Ramaswamy was very refreshing. Appeals to me as I have a distrust of both parties. Um, as a legal immigrant, I value my USA citizenship dearly. I wish the country remains the best spot on the planet. Vivek may be a bit young, but his enthusiasm and bold thoughts are what our country needs. All right, so we had. Mr. Ramaswamy on yesterday. You got a lot of reaction to that. Sally Musselman, Trinity, Florida. Vivek was a great guest. Your interview was excellent as always. O'Reilly, very insightful. Uh, but not everybody. Robert, message board. Vivek Ramaswamy reminds me of a fast-talking used car salesman. Oh, come on now. Pre-owned car salesman, that's a cliche. I know a lot of them and some of them are good guys. Uh, he has no chance of getting a Republican nomination. I agree with that. Tanya, concierge member, which means Tanya has direct access to me. It's an insurance policy for Tanya's life. Bill Vivek is extremely naive about Ukraine. The Ukrainians are never going to surrender their Russian-speaking territory. I don't think either side is going to give a lot there, but eventually something will have to break. Uh, David, concierge member, Trump will keep on with his non-participation in the debates to his own detriment. Meanwhile, those debate participants will slowly gain ground. Hasn't happened yet. Could. But Trump's way ahead right now. Neil Harrison, Arlington, Texas. How do you expect to reorganize the FBI without congressional approval? Neil, Congress has anything to do with the FBI. He falls under the executive branch, the president. The president controls the Justice Department. He appoints the attorney general. He appoints the FBI director. Congress doesn't have anything to do with it. it. Just funds it. Okay. If a president wants to do away with the FBI, the president can do that by executive order. In a moment, something you might not know. We all know Joe Biden isn't getting the job done and too often is making things worse. That's conservative business leader Doug Burgum, one of America's most successful governors. Raised with small town values, Burgum built a billion dollar company, creating thousands of jobs. As governor of North Dakota, Doug Burgum cut taxes, balanced the budget, and helped pass term limits. Where we come from, when something isn't working, you stop and you try something new. That's common sense. Joe Biden has got to go. As president, Doug Burgum will unleash American energy and end Biden's inflation. He'll secure the border to stop the flow of illegal drugs, and Burgum will rebuild our military to win the Cold War with China. Do you believe that the economy, energy, and national security are critical to our nation's future? Remember, that's why I'm running for president. Best of America Pack paid for and is responsible for the content of this advertising. Not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. www.bestofamericapack.com Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 27 years ago today, President Bill Clinton signed the Defense of Marriage Act a bipartisan piece of legislation that blocked same-sex unions. The law lasted until the Supreme Court legalized gay marriage two decades later. Here's the story behind defense of marriage. Gay rights became a national issue during the 1980s because of AIDS. The disease caused court battles over inheritance, death benefits, visitation rights. To stop the legal confusion, same-sex marriage was first proposed in the early 1990s. In opposition stood a bipartisan group of Republicans and Democrats in Congress. The Defense of Marriage Act, or DOMA, passed with a supermajority of 342 members of the House and 84 senators out of 100. President Clinton opposed the legislation, 
calling it, quote, unnecessary and divisive. But he signed the bill on September 21st, 1996, anyway. The law simply states, quote, the word marriage means only a legal union between one man and one woman as husband and wife. And the word spouse refers only to a person of the opposite sex who is a husband or a wife. Years later, Clinton said he signed DOMA to prevent a constitutional amendment that would forever ban gay weddings. Despite the legislation, many states soon recognized same-sex marriage. Massachusetts authorized the unions in 2004, followed by California, New York, and Vermont. The discord between state and federal law ended on June 26, 2015. In a five to four decision, the Supreme Court ruled that same-sex marriage is protected by the 14th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, requiring all states to recognize gay nuptials. The case rendered the Defense of Marriage Act, quote, superseded and unenforceable. And here's something else you might not know. Today, there are about 180,000 married same sex couples living in the USA. That's 0.3% of all marriages. Back after this. Enjoy cleaner, safer, and more private internet daily. Be more cyber zen. For a limited time only, get our special offer at nordvpn.com. With a few simple clicks, NordVPN will block online trackers and hide your virtual location. It will secure your devices from malware-infected downloads and block access to malicious websites. Enjoy Internet without trackers. Internet without malicious websites. Internet without malware-ridden files. Imagine your data more secure. Your connection protected. Be more cyber zen. Take advantage of our special offer now at nordvpn.com. NordVPN, cybersecurity built for every day. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.